So it's always got to be something, I swear. We were trying to leave um, our little overnight spot and we were pulling out and I noticed that one of the camper tires looked kind of close to the other tire. Turns out that we broke our suspension somehow because it is not supposed to look like that. Looks like we're going to be stuck here for a little while longer. Cool. That's so, what it's supposed to look like. This bracket connected to the frame right there. And this is what this one looks like. Definitely not connected. What are we going to do? Either go buy a welder or find a mobile welder. Why is it always we something? We're done spending money. Are we ever done spending money? <sighs> so we're just sitting here debating if a mobile welder is the right call or if we just go get a small welder and then Cam just fixes it himself. I don't know. What do you... I, I don't know. I'm leaning towards the old saying of if you want it done right, you do it yourself. Yeah. But like it's prop it might be cheaper going with the mobile welder. But like is the quality going to be good enough? The reviews on this guy were pretty terrible and he's like the only mobile mechanic. Well, it was like it was like really 50-50. Like, there was, like, as many five-star reviews as there was, like, one-star reviews. So it was either really good or really bad. So. We had too much fun last week, so so this week we're getting put back in our place. <laughs> oh, yeah, because last night <clears throat> when we were pulling into what we thought was just going to be our overnight spot. We broke the hitch. We broke the hitch. <laughs> so I fixed that last night. <laughs> and then we p apparently broke the axle also or not axle right yeah suspension I mean, mount to the axle <clears throat> so it's always it's always something dumb so we decided to go with the do-it-yourself route so we are going around town trying to find all the supplies first stop this place for a bracket, hopefully. We'll see. I can't believe I just bought a Harbor Freight welder. We'll see you tonight. So we just got back from town and I think we got everything we needed. We had to kind of figure out a uh, bracket because we couldn't find the right size one so we think this one's gonna be pretty close but we gotta cut it in half or something like that then we had to go buy a welder and a helmet and all those because right. i don't have my helmet or my <laughs> welder because or... <laughs> cam doesn't have any of that stuff that with I with have i have it all i just don't have it with well say it to the camera if you're gonna talk in the background I have it all, I just don't have it with. <laughs> so... You wouldn't let me bring it. I said that he could bring it if he could find room for it. And he never found room for it. Well, now we're gonna find room for it. It's not my fault. I know. So now it's to prep the area because there's a lot of stuff in the way. Like, the can't get stuff on the jack and we gotta get the insulation back away from where we're gonna be welding and all that good stuff. And apparently we have to grind the old bracket out of the way too. 
the prep is going to take just it's going to take longer than the actual welding. Yeah. The welding itself is probably going to get only going to take like 10 minutes. Uh. Here's a better look at the carnage. These are supposed to be one piece. That's supposed to like stay together. Not so much. So here is our new bracket. The bracket's done. The space is prepped there. Fucking wind. It's really windy. <laughs> And now to actually weld it on in a sandstorm. Yay. I feel like we're always doing stuff in less than ideal weather. Why is it always like that? It sucks. Huh. Why won't it work? Okay, so we got it working. Turns out that you just we just had to plug in this wire here to itself. I don't know. That was weird. But oh my god, it is getting really windy. Really windy. And apparently just running it off the generator isn't powerful enough. Like it keeps it keeps stopping, it keeps dying. So now I guess we're going to try turning on the inverter, which we really didn't want to do because we didn't want to fry anything. So Ugh. This sucks. Attempt number two. Hopefully this works this time. Third time's a charm, maybe. Thanks to our neighbor who brought over his generator. <laughs> so it's not pretty, but it's on there. It's ugly as hell. <laughs> but we're gonna reinforce it a little bit because the factory ones. Sorry. Go ahead. We're gonna reinforce it a little bit because those factory ones are not and as I'm not durable. I'm so confident in my flux core weld. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Now come up just a little more. A little more. Okay, hold on there. Uh, oh, do you have so a smaller close. screwdriver? Uh, I'll come up a little bit more. Do you, do you think you can put that pry bar in between that equalizer and take that pry bar and put it in there? And then, yeah, can you do that? Push it's coming. It's it's Is going. It Where's yeah. that screwdriver? There we go. Hold on. We're, oh yeah, just a little bit. Yep. Right here. Let's it's, get that in. It's totally Put the bolts in. in. Put the bolts in. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go back more for this side to line up. You Which want this? Are we through? There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We're in. We're all done. Not stranded anymore, right? Right. We're we're good to go. But I think we're gonna have some beers with these fine gentlemen <laughs> that helped us. <laughs> we didn't do anything. The people that saved our lives. Provided us a generator. <laughs> Moment of truth. It didn't break. Rolling again. We made it back. Time to get some food. Well, we just got back from Red Robin, which was on point. Uh, and everything is covered in dust in here. I hate it. Reuben is red. All of the furniture is red. And I guess now I have to clean all that up tomorrow. But on the bright side, we can move again, I guess. Uh, so I think we're just going to stay here for another night. Maybe a couple extra nights. Because I don't have the energy to move. 
We still just want to take a day off. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? But what a chaotic day. <laughs> I don't, I, there's no other ways to like sum that up. It was just chaotic. <laughs> Thank goodness to our new neighbors that they were helping us out a little bit and mostly we just got to use the one guy's generator because the welder that we had bought wasn't or like our generator couldn't run the welder that we just bought so luckily we could use his but yeah it was uh pretty pretty crazy make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date and informed on all of our mishaps <laughs> see you later